All right, guys, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Bendy Bang here, and I'm gonna show y'all a little trick that I like to do with my Mega Bass Dark Sleepers. And as y'all can see here, I just got my order in from today. So I know that uh, they have been pretty slow lately, but I had to do the uh, next day shipping to get my stuff on time, because, you know, opener is any time here, and I'm trying to catch some big ones. But anyways, let me show you a quick hack that I like to do. Uh, let's go ahead and get them taken out of the box. As y'all can see here, that's my name right there, my address too, if y'all want to send some neat stuff to me, but I spent quite the dollars on the Mega Bass Dark Sleepers there. I know maybe you guys have spent more, but there goes my bread and butter, man. I really hate it when the Pikes, hate it. Pikes eat it all though, but uh, I really like throwing the one ounce here. Uh, I do have a few of the other ones as well, like the um, smaller sizes and all, but I pretty much like throwing one ounce to three quarters because I just like that uh, heavy bottom contact feel. I, I just like it because I can feel the bottom, whether my, if I'm in rocks or grass or whatever, or even detecting a bite. But uh, let me show some of my uh, top colors here. I really like the... Um, uh, I don't know what this color is called, but for the darker colors, I like to throw this guy, the dark color here. Um, I like throwing uh, this color too as well, the green one here, one ounce. And I like throwing the clear one here. I, I think this one might be my favorite. I really don't know. And I got a little bit of the, uh, I think they call this one the Wagasaki. Yeah, Wagasaki, one ounce here. And another color that I got was the, this color right here, it says it right here in the back, Haze. I feel like this is a good bluegill uh, mimic, I guess. So let me go ahead and show y'all my little um, my little trick that I do with them. Go over here. Sorry, kitchen's a little dirty. She's got dog cooking food for the wife and baby. But anyways, the trick is I like to put a little glue on um, the nose of the dark sleeper and let me show y'all how I do that But yeah on the dark sleeper itself um, the nose of it can be broken a lot and It's uh, genuinely a pretty soft plastic and what I like doing is actually taking some of a uh, a, pro a super glue product. I, I guess it doesn't really matter uh, which one that you use but here's one that I like using, it's a gel. And I like to just open it up and you know, just kind of dab it around the head, the eyes. Uh, dabbing it around the eyes really helps it from not falling off. Cause sometimes the eyes kind of pop off and then it looks kind of funny. But honestly, I've caught plenty of fish with dark sleepers with missing tails and missing eyeballs and stuff like that. And they still just eat them. Foot. They just like eating them straight up. But anyway, so I'm gonna show you guys how I like to kind of like dab it right on the nose there just to harden the skin so it kind of prevents it from breaking and other than preventing it from breaking uh, even if it's broken you can got you can actually like put it on there and then it'll actually harden and it'll prevent the um uh the, the weight from the front from actually popping out of the head by um, putting the glue kind of like in the inside of the head and it kind of like sticks everything you know nice and solid together but let me go ahead and get some Dabbing on the head. Okay guys, we got the wifey holding the camera. Here goes the dark sleepers. Y'all can see here zoomed up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the uh, glue here. And I'm just gonna apply it on the head, as y'all can see. And I kind of like to just smear it around the eyelids so they don't really pop out. Kind of like the side, uh, the bottom here. As y'all can see. Sorry if it's a little blurry, it's a little hard to do this right now without a camera stand. But basically, Get it right on the bottom there, okay? I like to get it on the other side too as well. Just some glue there, just some nice gel, just to harden it up. Again, I do apologize guys, if you do see the camera, go out of focus, but it is what it is. But pretty much, that's the finished product. I like to just let it dry for a couple hours. Let the uh, glue harden up on the dark sleeper's nose and um, they should be able to take out and use in the water in the next uh, couple hours or so, you would say. But anyways, uh, just want to show that little tip that I like doing with my dark sleeper. But uh, 
other than that guys if you like the video go ahead and give it a like and give it a comment if you guys also like doing this trick as well if you guys do it too but anyways i'll see y'all next time see you guys absolute monster yo the dark sleeper buddies this guy's a monster